Roadrunner viewers, Tom Rodrick here, and joining me today is the 2024 Suzuki GSX-8R. I'm in my full leathers. Yes, we're at a racetrack. What does that have to do with a tour and travel magazine? Well, I think the big thing is that this bike is comfortable enough to go touring on. You know, they have saddlebags and whatnot available for you to go longer distances and it's comfortable. We did do a street ride yesterday. Um, it was cold, it was wet, it was foggy. They gave us a chance to kind of sample the traction control and the different rider modes. Uh, and then today they brought us out to the racetrack. The clincher in this is that yesterday was comfortable. You know, the, the seat to foot peg ratio, the uh, reach to the bars. It's a little bit more lean forward than the 8S but not enough that you know, I would consider it uncomfortable when riding yesterday. Of course, you have a little bit of you know, fairing protection to keep the elements off you where the 8S does not. Then you get here to the track and this thing's just incredible. Looking for more exciting motorcycle travel, editorial reviews, news, and resources for planning your next motorcycle tour? Roadrunner. I don't have to say, it's a, it's a double thumbs up, it's a kudos for this new Suzuki. It's probably the most significant model from Suzuki in a number of years, and they've really knocked it out of the park. The first one that came out was the uh, V-Strom DE from last year. I was on that press launch and came away impressed as far as an entry or a mid-level uh, uh, adventure bike. And then they came out with the ADS, and I was like, wow, this is fantastic in the uh, kind of naked mid-range motorcycle uh, market and you knew the 8R was coming, and here it is, and again, just blown away. Just love the power characteristics of this engine. It's so fun, it's so manageable, whether you're an experienced rider like myself or a new to intermediate person, this is a bike you can get and grow with and be happy for years. You know, we've done our first couple of sessions here this morning. I'm going as fast as I can, I'm going at full tilt and I am just having a wonderful time. As good as an engine as this is on the street, it equates to a fantastic engine on the track. It's just an unintimidating, fun motorcycle to ride. I was concerned there would be definitely some um, ground clearance limitations, and once I got up to my speed, yes, you're gonna touch down some foot pegs, but you know, you're still able to go as fast as I could go. News is they're going to enter this and race it in the battle of the twins. So there's going to be some aftermarket components coming out. You're going to be able to get some rear sets and a different exhaust. So if you are a track day kind of guy, um, you could make this even more performance oriented. But the way it comes in the package that it is, I mean, really, this is maybe one of the best all around motorcycles since the uh, SV650. And that's saying a lot. It comes in the, the naked version. You know, I've ridden that. That was a really fun bike. I remember saying something that, you know, it had a little bit of nervousness in the front end on the street. That could have been due to uh, street conditions. I said maybe a steering stabilizer would help out. Here at the track, I didn't notice any of that. Maybe it's because there's a little bit extra weight with your leaning forward seating position. The way it's suspended, again, it did really well on the street and it did well at the track. Not a big complaint. I'm about uh, 187 pounds and it was balanced front and rear. Uh, it does have a different front fork than the uh, 8S. This has the uh, Showa Big Piston separate function fork. It is non-adjustable. But again, not a big complaint in what they've uh, dialed in from the factory. There's a preload adjustment on the rear. Uh, so far, I haven't messed with that. But um, again, the way it has it set up is pretty darn good. They do have this, the track version outfitted with some Dunlop uh, Q5S tires. So some you know, very nice rubber, very grippy. At, was it, 94.39, uh, this bike retails for $440 more than the 8S. It's Primarily the same bike, different fork, different handlebars, uh, fairing. It could be an aesthetics thing because the engine, subframe, everything else about the motorcycle, they're equal. It's not a big price difference between the two. You know, I never rode the 8S on the track, so I'm not sure exactly how it performed. It would probably do pretty good, uh, just maybe a little difference in that front end. But if you're a person, you know, looking for an affordable kind of all around motorcycle, something you could actually, you know, put the bags on, do some sport touring, 
and then ride it to the track and do a good track day and then ride home. This is a model that will do that. I would kind of assimilate it to my Super Duke R. That thing's a little bit over the top. It can be intimidating at a racetrack like this where you know this bike is not, but I still had just as much fun riding this thing around the track as I did the Super Duke. And then I could be just as comfortable on this bike riding home tonight after the track day was over. So if that's what you're in the market for, I mean, I would definitely go down and check one of these out at the, uh, the Suzuki dealership. And, uh, you know, good luck.